Lewis Leakey was a scientist searching for answers to the questions every culture on Earth has contemplated. Who are we? Where did we come from? We wanted the answer. Who were these men? Lewis believed that some answers would come from fossils of hominids found in Africa. But behavior doesn't fossilize, and he believed that some answers might only be found by studying great apes, our closest living relatives. It had never been successfully done before, but he believed I was the one to do it. Her name, Jane Goodall. She was 26 years old and destined to make scientific history. It was considered a crazy idea at the time to send a young woman into the forest to study chimpanzees. But Lewis took a chance on me. He knew that although I didn't have experience, that I hadn't been to university, I did have infinite patience, a love of being in the wild and determination. And he believed that with these qualities, I might find some of the answers he was looking for. And he was right. Eventually, I made some observations that would change our definition of what it means to be human. In the 1960s, when Lewis Leakey used to visit Southern California on his lecture tours, his friends would gather together to hear his tales of exploration and discovery. They were homemakers, lawyers, bankers, as well as some scientists. Lewis inspired this small group of supporters to do something audacious. They set out to answer these fundamental questions about humanity. Because of Leakey's charisma, they didn't stop to wonder as to whether his idea was too bold. But they did realize that this quest, if it was to succeed, would take years and years of research. And so they built an organization that would sustain the quest. It's remarkable, really. Since that bold beginning in 1968, the Leakey Foundation has been a leader in funding women in science, including 17 grants to support my research at Gombe. They provide emergency funding to protect threatened primates and archaeological sites. They give seed money to start new projects and bridging money to keep long-term projects going. Over 2,500 scientists have received grants from the Leakey Foundation to do research in 110 countries. Lewis and the Leakey Foundation understood that the story of our origins belongs to everyone. The Leakey Foundation has provided thousands of public lectures at museums and schools, and today they're using online tools to share discoveries with a global audience. Discoveries by Leakey Foundation grantees have taught us so much about our human story, the kind of information that Lewis and the Leakey Foundation founders had hoped for. The spirit that launched this organization from a kitchen table to become a global institution continues today with a new group of scientists and supporters. And they're just getting started. You can be part of the search. Please join them. <laughs>